somehow, Disney's competitors have been able to avoid saying anything about it. Exactly what Disney had tried to do. NBC Universal, as a rival theme park in Orlando, has made no public comment on the new law. Other major companies like Paramount, Sony, Netflix have also not commented. And I've been saying this all along. I don't think any companies should be pressured into making statements about controversial issues because it'll never end. You'll have to comment on everything. And the fact that Disney's competitors have been able to fly under the radar just makes this all the more confusing. Joining us now is News Nation's Brian Enton. Brian, good to see you. So why do you think you've been covering this story? Why do you think these other companies have been able to avoid making a public statement? You know, Dan, it doesn't surprise me um, as much as it surprises you. And I think it's because Disney sort of is Florida. I mean, I grew up down here. When you think of Florida, so many people immediately think of Walt Disney World, one of the biggest employers in Florida. And when people come on vacation to Florida, where do they go? They go to Disney. They don't really think about NBC Universal or Netflix having anything to do with, with, with Florida. So I think it's just because that's what pops into people's mind first. Now, except that this was based on employee pressure, right? That's the reason that Disney had to cave here, is that there were employee protests, et cetera. I don't get, I mean, these other companies are, you know, equally uh, left-leaning, probably, in, in a, a lot of their employees, et cetera. There are probably a lot of people who are part of the community at issue here. So I don't get why just Disney was the one that got pressured into making a statement and the others didn't have to. I'm not saying my I made my position clear. I think it's a good thing when a company doesn't get involved in making statements on really controversial issues. But I just can't figure out how the employees of these other companies who I think share the general viewpoint of the people at Disney haven't forced their companies into making a statement too. Yeah, no, I hear you. I think, you know, with Disney, though, you think family and they've, they've also got a lot of gay and lesbian employees. They've got very, very strong unions. They seem to really organize very quickly and were very frustrated with the CEO not talking in the beginning. Uh, they sort of threatened these massive walkouts, which never really happened at the scale that a lot of people expected. Um, but I think all of that sort of contributed to it. And I just I don't think that the other uh, companies have that kind of organization within Florida uh, to really get it to rise to that level. I'd like to believe that the other companies had the fortitude to say, we're not going to weigh in on this the same way we're not going to weigh in on every gun control law, on every abortion law, on every um, you know other controversial issue. But I don't think that was the reason. Uh, <laughs> so Brian Enton, thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Dan. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.